Hey guys, I kind of woke up today and was feeling like I wanted to go book shopping. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna bring you guys along. I have a couple books that I want to get at Barnes and Noble, specifically being the sequel to Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse, because that just came out and I've been dying for this book for like two years. I feel like it's been so long. <laughs> and then I also just want to see what other new releases there are. I want to go to Half Price Books and see what they have because I haven't been there in a while. And I'm just going to bring you guys along in my book shopping journey. Here's my little outfit of the day. I'm wearing my fantasy over reality shirt and then this dress underneath it and my new favorite shoes ever. But I also kind of am feeling this hat. Like, is that not so cute? Is this the vibe? I don't know. I'm gonna wear it. I can take it off if I decide that I hate it. But that is the look for the day. So I am back from my book shopping. I'm very excited with what I got. So um, I will first show you guys what I got at Half Price Books. I did post on my Instagram story two books that I was like debating between and I wanted you guys to tell me if I should get them or not. So I put on there Payback's a Witch and Undercover Bromance. And I ended up not getting either of them even though the majority said to get them. Undercover Bromance I didn't get because I realized that I think it's the second book in a series and I don't have the first book which is Bromance Book Club. And Payback is a Witch, even though the poll won for me getting it, I had so many DMs from people telling me that I would not like it. So sorry if you participated in that poll. I didn't listen to you guys, but I did find two books that I am excited about and I bought these both for a very specific reason, which you're gonna be able to figure out. So I got The Conductors by Nicole Glover. This is a book that I have been debating getting ever since it came out, like 
two years ago, whenever it was that it came out, and I wasn't sure about it. It says that it's a vibrant story of magic and murder set in the aftermath of the Civil War. So it's um, an alternate history fantasy book. Conductors of the Underground Railroad ferry slaves to freedom with the use of magic. Which sounds really cool, but what sold me on this is on the back, there's a blurb from Diana Rayborn, the author of the Veronica Speedwell series, which is my favorite book series ever. Not saying I've been stocking up on books blurbed by Diana Rayborn, but I'm not not saying that. And then the other book that I got is The All-Consuming World by Cassandra Kaw, who is an author that I've read. I read one book by her before, and it was a very polarizing book. I liked it but like the vast majority of people hated it. I can't even remember what it was. I read it in my like 24 hour horror reading blog, but this is a sci-fi book. Again, I bought this because of a blurb, sensing a theme here, but this was blurbed by Seanan McGuire. If you guys remember, Seanan McGuire is the author that I did my reading vlog, reading experiment where I read books that Seanan McGuire had blurbed and it was such a success. So I now know that I can trust her blurbs 100%. So yeah, the main character has died and been resurrected into countless cyborg bodies through the years. And she's part of a crew of criminals. So I'm very excited that I found both of those. So then at Barnes & Noble, I got the main book that I went there for, which is The Fevered Star by Rebecca Roanhorse. This is the sequel to Black Sun, which is like an epic adult fantasy that I read. I think I read it in 2020 and it was like my favorite book that I read that year. It has been so long. The wait for the sequel has been so long and I'm so excited. I will be reading this very soon. I don't even know how to sum up what this series is about. It's It's got resurrected gods, religious factions, there's a, a pirate captain, there's magic, there's giant crows that people ride. It's a wild time, a wild adventure, and I cannot wait to be back with my baby Serapio. So then I got three books that I had not heard anything about, but all of these covers I was drawn to, and then I sat in like the Starbucks area for like an hour, just kind of like reading the first chapter of each of these books, looking them up on Goodreads. I'm very excited about all of them. So the first one we have here, I'd actually sort of known a little bit about this one. That's Needle and Bone by T. King Fisher. However, I don't think that this has come out yet. I'm pretty sure it hasn't and that Barnes & Noble just put it out early. But T. King Fisher is an author that I've read two books from her. One of them I loved, one of them I hated. I've only read her horror books. I think that this is more in the realm of like her fantasy stuff. This isn't the kind of fairy tale where the princess marries a prince. It's the one where she kills him. Do I need to say more? Absolutely not. Oh my God, it's also blurbed by Sean and McGuire. And like the actual book itself is really cool. It has these cool end papers. So I'm excited for this one. I haven't read any of T. King Fisher's fantasy books, although every time I've talked about her, people have told me that I need to pick up her fantasy stuff. The next one that I got, 100% I was drawn to this cover and that is Tripping Arcadia by Kit Mayquist. And it says that it's a gothic novel. Oh my God, and this is blurred by S.T. Gibson who wrote my favorite book ever, A Dowry of Blood. I'm sensing a very big theme here that wasn't planned. Oh my God, do I need to do another reading books blurbed by my favorite authors? I think I do. So this girl who drops out of medical school, she ends up getting this job for this very like uh, wealthy family in Boston. And the job description and the interview were very, very bizarre, but you know, she needs the job. So she overlooks all of that. And it says that she becomes the assistant to the family doctor. And she's also trying not to fall for the sister of the family. But when she stumbles upon the knowledge that the family patriarch is the one responsible for the ruin of her own family, she vows to get revenge, a poison-filled quest that leads her further into this hedonistic world. Does that not sound so cool? Definitely giving me like Mexican Gothic vibes. And then the last one that I got also 100% a cover by that is Woman Eating by Claire Coda. So this is a book about a female vampire and I it, it's I think it's literary fiction. I actually read the first two chapters and I was sitting in the Starbucks because I just like 
got really interested in it. So we're following a character named Lydia and she is living on her own away from her vampire mother for the first time and she really doesn't want to feed on humans. She moves to London and it says that finding pig's blood in London is very difficult. And as she develops as a woman and an artist, she will learn that she must reconcile the conflicts within her between her demon and her human sides and her relationship with food and in turn humans. If she is to find a way to exist in the world before any of this, however, she must eat. Yeah, so this sounded really interesting. And again, I read the first couple of chapters and it was very intriguing. So those are all of the books that I purchased on my little shopping adventure today. I think this is a really good haul. I'm very excited about all of these books. Definitely let me know out of these which book you are the most excited for me to read or to hear about. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.